So we have Modi removing Article 370, which pretty much gives Kashmir autonomy. He says he did that to do away with corruption, to ensure there's no more dynastic politics. Do you think that move of removing 370 will achieve that? Well, I think first one has to bear in mind one fact, that India controls only 45% of the original princely state of Jammu and Kashmir. Pakistan holds 35% and China 20%. Pakistan does not provide special powers and privileges to the part of Jammu and Kashmir that it holds. And as far as China is concerned, its part of Jammu and Kashmir is very poorly populated. There are only, you know, only, only a limited number of people who live there. So the real issue is whether India's revocation of Kashmir's special constitutional status will have a important bearing on the security situation. Only time will tell. But it's important to note that the reason why the Indian government revoked Kashmir's special constitutional status is because of a three-decade-old Pakistan-backed Islamist insurrection, which has led to a situation where armed jihadists call the shots in the Kashmir Valley, which is only a part of the Indian territory of Jammu and Kashmir. So this action is designed not only to level the field, but to give the federal government greater power and responsibility for the security situation in Kashmir. But Professor, is the move even legal because the constitution stipulates that the state government has to agree? Well, the constitutional provision providing special powers and privileges to the Indian part of Kashmir was brought into force in 1954, years after Kashmir acceded to India, and was done without any parliamentary approval. So its revocation from a legal and constitutional standpoint is, um, is, is pretty sound. I don't think uh, the legal challenge to this particular revocation uh, will, um, you know, will, will be uh, you know, will we'll find, will be, you know, will, um, will, um, uh, what I mean is that the Supreme Court of India, which is likely to hear a challenge to this action of the government of India, is unlikely to, to knock down the revocation of the special powers and privileges uh, of Jammu and Kashmir that the government of India has repealed. Uh, half a million troops are said to be in the Kashmir and uh, they have locked down and locked uh, down the whole state right now. When do you expect that lockdown to end? And what will happen after that? Because the legal challenges notwithstanding, there's a lot of discord with regards to this. Well, there is discontent in the Kashmir Valley, which is a Muslim dominated part of the Indian territory of Jammu and Kashmir. That part is only 15% of the now dissolved state. The rest of the state is actually celebrating the constitutional change that has been enacted by the Indian parliament. So it's a small area, but quite densely populated area called the Kashmir Valley, where there's a lot of discontent and Islamist insurrection. That's the area where the jihadists call the shots. And that's where the government has sent in troops so that, so that there is no mob violence and, and no, no rioting. And I think um, because of the upcoming Eid festival on Tuesday, these restrictions will likely be eased and maybe even lifted by Monday.